Did you know that you could use Edpuzzle to take videos from your favorite sources and turn them into video quizzes that you could actually put into Canvas and have Canvas grade for you? Let's take a look at how that's done. I'm going to show you how to create this using Edpuzzle and put it into Canvas, but first you're going to have to get an Edpuzzle account. So just go to edpuzzle.com and get a free teacher account. Once you have it, you'll be able to click on the content button and start creating your own content. Now, since I'm showing you a video magic trick, I figured I'd go to YouTube and grab a magic YouTube video. I'm gonna copy that link. I'm gonna go back over here to Edpuzzle. I'm gonna click on YouTube. I'm gonna paste it in, and it's automatically gonna take me in. It's gonna ask me to crop the video. Now for speed, I know that I wanna crop this to three minutes and 48 seconds, and four minutes and 26 seconds. In other words, I'm taking nearly a 17 minute video and cropping it down to just 39 seconds. Now once I'm done with that, I can add audio notes. Now an audio note is basically me introducing it. So let me go ahead and do that. Do you all like magic? Now what I've done here is I've slid it over to the beginning. And so what'll happen is, is my audio note will happen before the video even starts. You can add audio notes anywhere. Now I'm gonna add some quiz questions. So I'm gonna slide this over and as soon as the video starts, I'll ask a question. Now I'm just gonna ask a basic question and I'll say answer question one below and then I'll click save. I'm actually gonna add two more questions here, one in the middle, one at the end, but for time purposes, I'm gonna speed through that for you. It's basically the same process. Now, what I've done here is I've made a video, actually I've gotten a video, I cropped it, I added an introduction uh, audio segment, I added three questions, and now I'm ready to save and finish this project. And when I finish it, what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask me to assign it to a class. So maybe I assign it to one of my, and I'll assign it to Circles of Innovation, and I'll say assign. And now I have it, it there, it's gonna say, well, what do you wanna do with it? Well, maybe I want to share this assignment and I'm gonna make it a public assignment, but notice that I have this embed code. Well, I'm gonna copy this embed code and I'm gonna use this in Canvas. Okay, so now here we are in Canvas and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over and create a quiz. I will make a new quiz and I will call it the magic of Edpuzzle. Now, do you remember I got that embed code earlier? Over here from Edpuzzle, I got this embed code. I just said copy link. Well, I'm gonna come back now here, and in here, I'll put my instructions. Now, to embed that video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this tool right here, which is called the Insert Edit Media Tool. And one of the choices I have is this embed area. So I'm gonna click embed, and I'm just gonna paste in that embed code. Once I click OK, you'll notice that my video is now there. OK, so the next thing I need to do is I need to ask questions. Now you may remember that the first question I asked was, do you like magic? For this example, we'll make the correct answer, yes. But I also asked two other questions. So let me go ahead and do that. Again, for the sake of time here, I've sped this up. You guys know how to add questions in Canvas, but I'm adding my three questions. Okay, now that I've made and saved that video, what you're gonna see is, I'll go ahead and take you through the preview, and when we preview it, what you're gonna see is that students have instructions, and they have a video. And when they click play on the video, at home, do you all like magic? It'll ask them the question. They go down to question one, and they answer. They can then hit play on the video. So a cool trick with a paper cup. I also have three ice cubes here. We have one ice cube. And when it gets to question two, fingers, and the ice cubes complete. They go down and they answer question two and question three and so forth. Now what's nice about this is because the quiz is actually in Canvas, that means the answers go to the gradebook or to speed grader if you need to actually answer them. My last question was open-ended and so I would need to grade that myself in speed grader. But basically, you're using Edpuzzle to make the videos and edit them and add your own voiceovers and other things. And then you're using Canvas to answer the questions. And since this video is being made for the screencasting course, I guess I should also tell you that you could make your screencast using Screencastify. Once you have your screencast, you can take your screencast and share it to YouTube. Once that video is at YouTube, you grab the YouTube link, you go back to Edpuzzle, you make your Edpuzzle quiz, and then you put that into Canvas. All right, I hope you like that trick.